the sequences of exercises are blended in such a way, and, and we call them pods in the book. Okay. They complement yep. each other, and you, what what it does effectively, and I know John manages this in the design of the program, is that it distributes the fatigue throughout your efforts and your body as opposed to whatever, say an upper body only. Mm -hmm. So it might be mountain climbers followed by um, push-ups followed by forward lunges. I'm just using that as an example. Sure. But you're, you're not just, oh, I can't lift up my arms anymore. So I, I think it's almost, I don't, maybe the proper word is kind of subtle or discreet. You're, you, you know that your heart rate is high, but you're not feeling it like you're hammering a bike where you're, I don't know, whatever, 160 uh, beats per minute on a bike, and man, my legs are screaming. You're not ever, I mean, you get that full body cook, but you're not ever really getting to the point of, man, I just can't, my legs are just smoked. I can't go any yeah. further. So that's, that's been kind of my observation, um, which I love because I think a, a huge part of what we do as coaches is manage fatigue. And we're managing fatigue within the workout itself, Aaron. That's, that's, okay. that's kind of, I, I guess that's part of the secret sauce is what I would say. <laughs>